Hey guys, my name is Adele. I was actually going to write a blog post about the Palestinian problem. Then I realized not many people even read anymore. So I just decided to make a video. If you want to listen to it, you can. If you don't, you can press stop. It doesn't really matter. There are too many opinions about the situation anyway, but I just keep hearing the same thing over and over again, and people just don't get it. I'm not sure if anyone remembers that famous quote by Daenerys Targaryen. Yes, I did mention her name. But she says, I'm not going to stop the wheel. I'm going to break the wheel. The analogy of the political wheel spinning throughout time is fantastically written by George R. R. Martin in his novels, and it's definitely something worth reading. Essentially, one leader takes the throne, then another, then another, like spokes on a wheel, crushing those on the ground. Rather than stopping the wheel to assume the throne permanently in a system that's already flawed, she suggests dismantling the system entirely to re-establish a more relevant one for her own rule. Today, the world is suffering from injustice, but what does that even mean? The good fighting the bad? people being treated unfairly, these concepts were irrelevant for centuries. It was, and in fact still is, purely about might. We live in a world created by those who were victors in a war that we weren't even born in. Countries who aren't even in alliance anymore. Permanent members of a system that has enabled the world to spin in their favour. And if the entire planet voices their opinion overwhelmingly about the wrongs that need to be made right, they can simply press the override button with the power of a veto. The world can stand in solidarity as the voice of humanity, whether it's for Ukraine or for Palestine, but it matters not. The system was designed to allow a few old members in an outdated system to do as they please, while the world just has to look on in discontent. Nothing more. Complain all you want. If they can, they will, and they have. Germany are a powerful economic country. They've been maintaining a unified euro, and bailing out countries. But no one would dare give such a significant contributor of the world's economy even a glimpse of that permanent power simply because of a political party they used to have almost a century ago that happens to be on the losing end of history. The system doesn't even make sense. If the entire world's representation comprising of more than 200 people in the United Nation call for a resolution to halt settlement activities in occupied Palestinian territories, all it takes is one nation to make the entire voting system irrelevant. And as you know, America are friends with Israel, and America has veto power. Democracy doesn't even exist on a global scale. It's moderated by five countries, pure and simple. We are standing in solidarity. But for what? To beg a bunch of people in a system that works in their favor, that take whatever they want to give us a fair go? Why should they? If I was on a team, and I was losing 10-0, should I be asking the other team whether they can allow me to score 10 goals just so that I can make it even? Why should they? The UN has shown throughout its existence that it is incapable of performing any task in the name of humanity. It simply serves those it was designed to serve since the beginning. We're trying to ask them to put us as a spoke on the wheel in the hopes that they are going to treat us kindly. Why? Because we ask them nicely? If we want something done, we simply need to be strong enough to break that system, because it's never going to work in our favour. It will always work in the favour of those who created the system in the first place. Boycotts, divestments, sanctions, they are really fancy words and they can really tip the balance in favour of those who support the Palestinian plight. There are nations powerful enough to break that system, to create a new one void of vetoes and accords and resolutions and treaties. But they're too comfortable living in that system to bother changing the status quo. If we want change, we simply cannot seek it from those who are inflicting the oppression upon us in the first place. We need to seek it from those who care about our cause. And they simply just need to be stronger than the other guys. That's just how it's worked. It's how it's always worked. Might is always what's right. It's not what anyone wants. We want what's fair. But that's not how the world works. It's all about who's stronger than the other. If you can't beat them, then don't expect a participation award from them, because you're just not going to get it. That's not how the world works. If we truly want justice for Palestinians, then we need to be a united front. We need to support each other. We need to work together. We need to set aside our differences. We shouldn't expect the change to come from the oppressors. The change needs to come from us.